Hey guys and welcome back to another Is It Worth It? Uh, today is the 24th of May. Uh, the Royal Mint today um, uploaded their new coin, this uh, Queen Victoria strike on the day. 650 mintage and as usual the Royal uh, the Royal Mint, the, S the Silver Forum, the sheep are going crazy for this coin and uh, apparently it is sold out within seven minutes. Now these guys here, they obviously think that this coin is going to be a huge hit because it's sold out in seven minutes, but uh, in my opinion it's for eBay so that the guys can make eBay money and that's what it's all about. Um, so just uh, be aware uh, that um, this is where these most of these coins will go. I mean, there is one or two collectors who will buy everything uh, from the Sovereign range. Uh, for me, £500 is uh, way too much money. And uh, there's way too many people trying to hype these things up for certain reasons. And that reason is, one. you know, there's only one reason, which is to throw it on eBay and uh, get some money out of guys like you and I. Uh, I certainly won't be buying into it, um, so I just wanted to have a, a look through here and see what these guys are saying. Um, let's see. Yeah. And uh, if we go to Numistaka's favourite website, the one that he shells every, every video that he makes, uh, here you can see the con, uh, sorry, coin connection. Uh, there we go. Already £250, uh, more expensive now. Uh, I'm guessing that you'll see uh, people like Numistaka and so on throwing these on eBay. Uh, whoever else has bought them, that's all it's about. These guys that buy twos and threes. Oh, well, can't buy twos and threes actually. There's only one per household, so. They'll have to either be stuck with them or they'll uh, try and make as much money out of them as they can. Uh, I'm sure that Numistaka will be getting a few for uh, grading. And they'll be telling us how fantastic they graded and how fantastic these coins are. In my opinion, they aren't that fantastic. Um, they're not a, a great coin. Basically because if you go into eBay itself, here you'll see other strikes on the days and these little pimped and privy coins, they're all still sitting around. There's lots and lots and lots of them. And uh, for me, these are not uh, good value coins. They're not good value gold coins. Um, so just a warning for you guys. As I said, I'm just collating a video, so this might take a day or two and before I upload it. Uh, today is the 24th. And as I said, the uh, Royal Mint have just released this and sold out within five to seven minutes. And as you can see, it looks struggling the day. There's loads of them there. They even reduced. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's still a lot of money. Um, maybe you should take about £700 off that, or even £750 to £800 off that. But there you go, guys. Uh, so that's uh, one coin uh, in the, this uh, new Is It Worth It video. I'm going to have a look around for some more. Uh, as I said, I might take a few days to collect this video, but uh, I'm just going to, I just want to get this one up here. Anyway guys, we'll move on to the next coin. The next coin up is uh, one that I've just uh, had an email uh, about. Um, this is from the Royal Mint. This is for an 1819 uh, George III Sovereign. Um, not many of these exist. Uh, there's a report of 3,500 mintage but with only four to nine known. Uh, four to nine is uh, R5. Uh, it's extremely rare. Um, whether this coin is actually worth the price that uh, the Royal Mint are going to be asking for, I really don't know. Um, they state that this coin is in good fine. Um, I would think, only my personal opinion, I think it's a little bit less than that. I think it's just in fine. Uh, you have to apply for this. This is a, a ballot, and from the ballot, uh, um, the winning uh, ballot paper or ballot applicator will be 
invited to buy this coin and this coin is going to be up for sale for £100,000. Um, the finest known was 186000 at auction in 2013 which was from the Bentley collection. Uh, the Bentley collection, if you guys don't know, was uh, this guy had some serious amount of uh, gold sovereigns and other coins and had, uh, you know, it was fantastic uh, collection this guy had. Uh, and here is the 1819. Uh, this is the one that sold for 186,000. So you can see quite a difference in grade uh, and you would expect to pay that price. And here you can see another, here's, a, here's just an example of um, what this guy had in his collection, a rare proof of 1818. This is the type of stuff that he had. Um, I will leave a link in the description for this uh, um, catalog so you can see. I think there was maybe three or four. He actually had a, an Edward VIII, five pound or a pound, I think it was there. Oh no, sorry, that's not, that's a Hemisphere collection, sorry. But I'm assuming he might have had one of those, but um, I don't know how many parts there was for the Bentley connection. Might have been four, I have no idea. There was a fair amount, though. <coughs> so there you see, um, they were wanting £100,000. Uh, Spink rate this in fine. This is uh, this year's Spink, 2019. Uh, they rate this in fine at 45,000 and 75,000 in, in very fine. So for 100,000, I think it, um, you know, it sounds excessive. It sounds excessive, but for the rarity of the coin, it might not be. Um, so we'll kind of just have to wait and see if anybody applies. Um, I think I'll not bother with this one. <laughs> um, but there's, uh, we can have a look at the reverse here. And there's the whole coin itself. Um, as I said, you know, the, the, they are rare. So I just think, you know, that 100,000 might sound a little excessive when you look at it or take a book value. But the book value is only a price guide. It's not a definitive of what someone must pay for a coin. When it comes to rarity, then uh, you can throw the book out the window and, uh, you know, Block a number from the air. So this, I'll leave a link in the description for this, for this one, and also I'll leave a link in the description for the um, Bentley collection, and you can have another, another look through at your own time and pace, <coughs> and see what you guys think. Okay, we're going to move on to another coin. I'm still digging around, to see what I can find. Okay, guys. So here I am again. Um, I've come back to this uh, 1819 Sovereign. Um, I've got my reasons for that. Now, first of all, um, the first part of this video, um, I did that on the 24th of May, and I did it about 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, I've been to work, I've come back, and it's now 8 o'clock at night, and so I've been out for 10 hours, and... Um, We've got a couple of little discoveries, or not discovery, well, one discovery and one uh, price increase. If you remember the uh, strike on the day sovereign that uh, is sold out today at the mint, well, um, I mentioned the um, con connect, uh, coin connection, sorry. Uh, they were selling theirs for £750 this morning. And uh, if we look again today, 10 hours later, here we see... Now nine hundred pounds. Now tell me the um, price gouging, Jesus. Um, this is um, this is just incredible. Uh, this coin isn't worth this sort of money. I'm sorry to say. And for any of you guys that uh, kind of think that it just gotta have this coin, then feel free to buy it at nine hundred pounds. But I'll tell you, um, for me, this is a three hundred and twenty-five pound BU coin. There's nothing special about it. It's got a little privy. And it's not worth, not privy marks, not worth £600, sorry. So, um, that's just a little heads up for that one. And um, so, the second thing that I wanted to mention about this uh, this coin. Now, somebody mentioned there was another collection that was sold again by Baldwin's in 2014. It was called the Hemisphere Collection. 
and in the Hemisphere collection there was also an 1819 coin that was sold and here is the catalogue of the Hemisphere collection so let's scroll and there's a couple of pages we'll have to go through first I think it was about six or seven pages and there we see that's it there so let's just uh, enlarge this a little bit uh, now this coin was valued at 50 to 60,000 and um, I believe it sold for 41,000 now the most interesting thing about that is is it was actually the Royal Mint that bought it so I'm going to show you this coin here from uh, the Semisphere collection side by side with the coin that the Royal Mint are going to sell and um, the even the Royal Mint now are price gouging so um, we'll just uh, I'll have to pause this, this uh, second uh, so I can bring up the picture and because uh, I've, I've basically what I've done is I've, I've enlarged this picture here and I've uh, well, sorry I took a screenshot of this picture here and I've took a screenshot of the picture from uh, the Royal Mint, the Royal Mint coin that's for sale and uh, I've put them side, side by side so you'll be able to check it out so I'll just go and get that now okay so how do we know that these two coins are the same well we obviously we're going to look for the telltale signs I mean it's a worn coin so we look for the telltale signs so first of all if you see here it's a scratch like an X type scratch next to the ear this one here is uh, this is the Royal Mint Ballot coin this is from this the this hemisphere uh, coin hemisphere collection coin and here again you'll see the scratch another thing that we'll see here is this dig here by the colon on the uh, Royal Mint coin and again if you look here you'll just see the dig there on that um, the next thing that we'll look for is this here see the scratch going right through there going up there it's actually going on to the end as well and here you'll see it here very light because of the, the bit difference in pictures but you can see it it's going there like going right up there and going there um, so for me this is one of the, one and the same coin um, so the Royal Mint are actually looking to make a fair hefty profit of about 50k on this coin and as I thought this coin um, I don't think it was uh, worth the money that they said it was in fact let's go and have a look see what uh, the auction catalogue stated uh, for grade let's just have a look as you can see here look they've actually they've actually used a similar uh, similar description I'm just trying to find the grade mm, otherwise toned I see they're fine to good fine so you would actually you, you should be buying or looking to buy the bomb in grade which would be fine this is what I thought it was so there you go guys, uh, even the Royal Mint are now price gouging as you can see. Um, this is uh, one and the same coin and uh, as you can see this is the Hemisphere collection. This is the, the catalogue from that one. So there you have it guys, uh, another, another one to steer clear of. Um, the Royal Mint are actually, I mean, they're pumping coins out now like left, right and centre for silly silly money. Uh, this uh, this new coin today that was released today I mean there's another example for a BU coin 500 pounds for a BU coin is just incredibly insane and people are just not getting it I mean sold out in seven minutes fair enough some guys do buy into every single sovereign uh, but uh, I'm more than likely you'll see some of these coins on eBay as I've said so Anyway guys, I think I'll leave this one here, um, it was an interesting one this time, uh, for me anyway, I'm finding that, and um, I will uh, catch you again on the next video, and as always, like, comment and subscribe, and I will leave links in the description for these uh, catalogues should you guys want to have a look, 
and uh, have a look at some nice, nice solvents. Okay, guys, catch you again.